Hello, my name is Chris Kiak with Kiak Technology Solutions. In this video today, I'm going to showcase a little bit more about the drawing property panes that were introduced in version 2023 of Tecla Structures. Now, what I'm going to specifically cover are some of the nuances that I had to kind of go through related to detail views and section view cutting labels. So if I go to the views tab here, I'll go to detail view, and I'm just going to actually put in a detail view just so you can see uh, kind of some settings as a starting point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick uh, two corners here because I did rectangular style. I'll pick the label position and then I will pick a location for that detail call out. Now, when I click on the view itself, you know we're gonna see the actual view properties, but if I click on that call out, you should see the detail mark. Okay, so here we can basically see essentially the call out properties. Now, what you can see is that I've got detail text and then detail name and then source drawing name. Now, what if you don't like this style of callout? You actually want to see sort of like a, a bubble callout here with the mark and the drawing. Well, what you can do is uh, let's just say that I wipe everything out. So I'm just going to click on these uh, red X's on each of the properties and I'll just go ahead and say modify there. And so now I have basically an empty symbol. Now, the next thing that I'll probably do is I'm just going to come in here and switch the symbol to circle uh, and actually crossed circle. So we'll just say modify. And then what we need to actually do is change the size as well. So I'll do half inch here and just say modify. And now that gets put in there. And of course you can change the color. So if I switch it to blue, that's going to be a little bit of a darker color. Okay. So now we've got basically the symbol in there, but uh, things got a little bit messy until I sort of figured out how to quickly get in here and get stuff in the right location or the right spot. So what happens is when you have these detail marks, you actually have to put things in different containers or different locations along the mark line. Um, and so what I mean by that is if I actually hit the add container option, this is actually showing you by default to add some content above the detail call out line. And I can actually see this. This is uh, something that popped out at me because I'm so used to now visually trying to drag and drop things up in the editor. That was actually causing me a lot of heartache and problems. And what's great is that there's actually this text position option down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna say, let's add the detail name. So I'll just add that in here. And then I'll hit modify and you'll see what'll happen. So it puts the name over here above the line, but I don't really want that. I actually want that to be inside of there. So what I can do is I can click on that element and then I can say that I want that above line inside of the uh, circle here. So I'm gonna just say above symbol center line. And when I modify that and say, uh, uh, you know, I hit modify here, you'll see that it actually puts that in there. And then when you actually click on that element, there's the ability to offset it up and, uh, you know, up and down um, with the Y as well as left and right with the X in that position there. So this is a really handy thing just so that way you're not sitting here trying to drag and drop. So let me show you what I was trying to do. I was trying to actually come in here and add an element and uh, just say, let's say um, uh, the source drawing name. And then I was trying to drag and drop that around and I was getting really lost. Like I was like, hey, this isn't working the way that I want to. And so let me just uh, click away from that and come back in. And so really the easiest thing to do is say add container. And then here you'll see that it's actually trying to default to underneath there. And then I can just come in and I can say, let's add source drawing name. And uh, if it is in the wrong location, like here it's to the left. Uh, if I hit modify again, you'll see the E1 is over there. But rather than trying to drag that over into the center, what the easiest thing to do here is just switch this and I'll just do uh, below symbol center line and just say modify and then there we go. So rather than you trying to drag and drop, that will be your natural instinct when you're coming in here. But instead, just go ahead and use um, these properties here, this text position property, and that will allow you to control that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on some section views. So I'll come in here and I'll cut my section view. I'll pick two points. I'll pick the depth of the view in each direction. And then I will place that section view off to the side here. Now don't focus on the view properties and the content that's in here. Again, I'm focusing on the call out. So here I have uh, you know, section one dash one on E1, which is the current drawing, right? So I can see those properties here. Now let's say that I wanna change these symbols here um, to actually do the circle symbol, very similar to what I did with the detail, which is pretty common on erection drawings or design drawings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually come in here and uh, I'm going to zero out a bunch of stuff and change this to symbol. So let's go ahead and do this option here and uh, we'll say modify and you can start to actually see the symbol gets drawn there. And then uh, let's change the symbol size to three quarter and get a little bit larger. 
And then uh, there we go, we're starting to get somewhere. And then I'll just start zeroing out some of these numbers here. And then now I've just got that straight call out. Okay, so now when I click on this, you're gonna see that the actual cut names here, they're not in the right spot. Okay, they're not actually inside of that circle correctly. And so what I can do is I can select on this element here and then again, instead of above line, I can just choose this text position option and say above symbol center line and say modify and then there's that call out. I'll select on this one here. I'll just say uh, set that to uh, below symbol center line and say modify. And there we go. We can see that actually uh, now fits inside there nicely. And we can see that on both options. Now, some people don't like to see like these kind of rotated like this. And so what you can do um, on that is actually switch those elements. So to do that, I need to actually select on this option here, like one of these things. And then I'm just going to, you know, one of these elements. Um, and uh, here it says text rotation always rotate. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to just say always horizontal. And then I'll say modify there. I'll do the same thing on this one. I'll just say always horizontal and we'll say modify. And there we go. Now, um, basically it's always gonna keep those horizontal no matter which direction the section is cut. So once you've got those properties all set, you can just come up here and save away you know, your standards. And then that way you can use these for your erection drawings. Just be aware that you're gonna have settings that uh, might be specific for erection drawings, which will show these bubbles with the callouts. And then you might use the old school traditional, just like section AA um, or detail one or whatever on the shop drawings. So if you do have two different styles for your erection drawings versus shop drawings, then you just wanna save some settings here that are prefixed with like e-sheet or something like that so you know the difference between the two. But there you go, there's just a couple little tips related to switching to this style of uh, callouts um, using the new drawing property pane.